Hi, Martha Moody again. We're on week two, part two, page nine. And what I'd like to do is go back um, to where we're talking about subtracting polynomials. Um, I cut it a little bit short in the last video because I like to keep the videos 10 minutes um, or less. So um, if we're looking at the group of 6x squared y cubed minus 9xy and minus the group of 5x squared y cubed minus 4xy, um, the textbook would tell us to take the opposite of the group being subtracted. So the group being subtracted is the group highlighted in the yellow, the second group after the negative sign. And we take the opposite of that and then add it to the first group. So in class number one, we define, to sub we define subtraction as to subtract b from a as taking the opposite of b and then adding it to the a. So it became a minus b became a plus negative b. 5 minus 7, the opposite of 7 is negative 7, and we add that to the 5, so it becomes 5 plus negative 7. So what's being subtracted is 5x squared y cubed minus 4xy. The opposite of that is minus 5x squared y cubed plus 4xy. The sign of each term inside the parentheses in that second group changed. Then we add it to the first group. And when we add it to the first group, because there's a plus sign now between the two groups, we just drop the parentheses and go ahead and combine terms. Um, I mentioned in the other video that I prefer to think of it as displaying a number in front of each group and then multiplying. So you would display a 1 in front of the first group and a 1 in front of the second group. But there's a minus sign there, so that essentially turns that into a minus 1, though. So if we multiply 1 by the first group, 1 times itself is just itself. So we just drop the parentheses for the first two terms. The second two terms, we're going to take minus 1 times the 5 gives us the minus 5, so it's minus 5x squared y cubed. Minus 1 times minus 4, using the distributive property, is positive 4xy. Either way, you get exactly the same answer. Use the way that you prefer. Then we go ahead and combine the terms, like terms. So here I have it displayed, the terms that are alike. So 6 minus 5 is 1, x squared y cubed and minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5xy, or we can write it without the 1 in front if you prefer. Going on to page 10, I have five problems here for you to try in class. So I would recommend that you um, pause the video in a couple of minutes and go ahead and try these, and then you can look at the answers on the next page. Um, so on problems 1 and 3, they have a plus sign between the two groups. Just drop the parentheses and combine them. On problems 2, 4, and 5, what you're going to do is these groups that follow the negative sign, you're going to take the opposite of those groups inside of there, and then you're going to combine it with the first term. So that's what you're going to do on 2, 4, and 5. So at this point, I recommend um, pausing the video, trying these problems, and then continuing when you're ready. So here are the answers to the problems. The first group um, has a plus sign between them, so we just drop the parentheses, combine like terms, and add. So 1x plus 2x is 3x, 3 plus 4 is 7, so we have 3x plus 7y. The problem number two, is we have to take the opposite of this group that's being subtracted, so the opposite of 2x plus 4y becomes a minus 2x minus 4y. Then we combine it with the first group. Or, again, you can put that 1 in front of it and use the distributed property and multiply. You get the same answer either way. So combining terms that are alike, we have 1 minus 2 gives us minus 1x. 3 minus 4 gives us minus 1y, which is the same as minus x minus y. Either way is fine. Problem number 3 has a plus sign between the groupings, so we just drop the parentheses and we combine terms that are alike. So when we do that, we have 2x squared plus 3x plus 1y plus 3 or you can write it without the 1 in front of it. On problem number 4, again, we have a minus sign between the groups, so we have to go ahead and take the opposite of that second group, and the opposite of 5x minus 8 is minus 5x plus 8. Each one of the two signs changes, and we add that to the first group. So combining like terms, we have 2 minus 5 is minus 3x, and 3 plus 8 is 11. On problem number 5, we have two things that are being subtracted. So we take the opposite of 2x plus 3, which you can see down here on the second line, is minus 2x minus 3. 
and we take the opposite of x squared minus 9, which is minus x squared plus 9. I've gone ahead and combined them with the first um, polynomial that's there, matching up terms that are alike. And so we have 2x to the third power minus x to the second power. Um, for the x's, we have minus 3 minus 2 becomes minus 5. 4 minus 3 is 1, and 1 plus 9 is 10. So we end up with the answer that you see here. Um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and stop it. Um, we're going to talk about multiplication of polynomials, which is a different topic. So I'm going to make this one um, a short five and a half minute video, and then we'll pick up on the next video with multiplication of polynomials.